Scorpio, welcome back to Joy and Knows. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal, the information is below. If you'd like to join members, that information is also on the page. Just log on and click join. We're going to go ahead and say a quick prayer before we jump into it. So Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Scorpio on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, as always, I'll turn the chat on in a little bit. It'll be kind of hard for me to see from this distance, but um, yeah, we'll see. But let's go ahead and get into it. So first things first, I'm hearing 777, but split up. I went to lunch with my friend Summer today. She got there way before I did because I didn't realize she texted me a time already. It was kind of hidden. So she made it there. I'm still at home. She's like, hey, girl, I'm here. So anyway, I'm late. I get there. Her number on the table is 77, right? So when I go up to the thing and I order, they give me a number and mine is seven. So 77 is all about a warning. And I feel like seven is all about the chariot. So this is a warning. There's something that's about to move forward for you. I was also here in Scorpio 2.0. This reminded me of a Leo reading that I did a while ago. It was called a new and improved Leo 2.0 emerges tonight. So if you have any Leo in your chart, or even if you don't, you may find some synchronicity there. But yeah, there's something about midnight. Taurus's last two readings have been centered around midnight, and that's your opposite. So, you know, it's not so crazy for you guys to have similar energy. But I feel like there's something about midnight where I feel like an energy within you initiates. Yeah, you have fear in reverse. Um, moving forward, yeah, I was hearing that song, Silent Night. So I feel like everything's kind of still, everything's very really quiet, and then all of a sudden it's like a volcano just kind of erupts here. This could be metaphorical, of course. Also, go back in your camera roll to June 4th and see what could be coming back around. I was also hearing uh, there's going to be transformation in whatever in your life wasn't growing here. So that's good. That's about to change. And then tomorrow, sorry, guys, tonight there could be a contract coming in. I was hearing the devil card number 15. Also set a timer for 10 hours, 25 minutes and four seconds. If you're feeling extra spicy, I feel like you're going to receive a message when it goes off. I was also hearing some things like a ticking time bomb. When you set that timer, it may be 555 or 630, like the end time. But, you know, you'll see what happens when it goes off. I was also hearing locked, loaded, shoot. So it's about time for you to do something. We're going to get into it. I also feel like there's a lot of suspense here. I was hearing level three and immediately that reminded me of the OSS. I think that's like the highest level that you could be at. So I feel like you guys have achieved level three in some way. I was also hearing your back in the current and that reminded me of finding Nemo when all the turtles were kind of like swimming along the current together. So some level and degree, I feel like everybody's like on the same page, you know? Also, okay, so moving forward, something about tomorrow, you could be taking a flight. I was seeing a really big aircraft. Also, moving forward on Tuesday, you may run straight into someone. For a lot of you, you're going to run into, I was hearing a mystery king. Uh, if you're a masculine energy, this could be a feminine energy, but I was hearing a second chance. I was also hearing that song that's like, all my life, I can't like you. Know, so just take it how it resonates. That could be your favorite song. Um, yeah, I was hearing prison to sun. So something goes from feeling very restricted. I'm hearing glorified. Also, you could have been in prison and now it's like you could be very respected, very well known. Just take it how it resonates. Also, on the 19th, somebody could be going to prison. Like they could have committed a crime on the 6th of July. And now that's coming full circle. Yeah, I was seeing like when you get the eight ball in and pool, but before it's time. So it's like somebody fucked up, you know. I was also hearing if you tell, so somebody could be getting in trouble because somebody else told on them. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. This could be a Sagittarius. I'm also hearing Virgo, or this could be some, I'm hearing money laundering. This could be something global about a bank, but we'll see what that is. Yeah. For some of you, I feel like you're not really afraid of anything. I'm hearing except rodents. Like, it's kind of ironic the things that you are versus aren't afraid of. Um, 
Also today, you could have realized someone was using you. I was seeing orange flags. Oh, I forgot to grab this deck. I was also seeing this play. It's called like Much Ado About Nothing. And I have a deck where that's a card and I wanted to pull from it to see, oh, there it is, to see what that was about. Hold on. Sorry, I have decks everywhere, literally everywhere all over my house. Ooh, yeah, the hermit. Mm, look, it's like you're realizing something and then you're like kind of weighing it out. Like, is this something I should believe? Am I being like, you know, am I being too judgmental about the situation? Am I jumping to conclusions? But I feel like um, I'm hearing your suspicions will be confirmed. So let's see what or who is using Scorpio. Or what did they realize today? What are these orange flags? Damn. Damn. Whew. For some of you, this is a family dynamic. It says the sisters right here with the three of pentacles and the seven of pentacles with the secret service. Look at this. So if the secret service is on top of this card. That means you're like really looking at something, really looking over the, I'm hearing the last seven years. And if this isn't like an actual sibling or an actual, like you could be an only child, you know, if this is, if this is not a sibling, this could be somebody that you consider family here. But I feel like after careful re re-evaluation of this situation here with the six of swords you're going to be moving forward and it's interesting because there's the hollywood sign in the back but instead of the hollywood sign it says the past so i feel like you moving forward is your new beginning here as the empress wow and the two of cups so some of you this is an actual physical person for some of you this is a location that maybe you've been in for a while but whatever this is this satin sea is what's leaving this is that volcano energy yeah some of you could be um coming back into contact with someone for, from your past you're coming out as the queen of cups queen of pentacles here and just because you and Taurus have so many similarities, I just feel like that could be a Taurus there, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, so moving forward. Yeah, I was hearing these are the end of the days. These are the end of days one way and hello to days a new way. I was also seeing this play. It's called The Last Days of Judas. Just take it how it resonates or maybe you know about that play. There's so much play energy. Maybe you guys, you could be into theater. Um, I did not like theater at all. I like film more, but some of you are like theater buffs here. I was also hearing prelude to the Lord of the Rings. And I've never actually seen that movie, to be honest with you, but I'm seeing the Lord of the Rings as like some type of commitment. So when you think about the pre-story to your commitment, you're living that right now. Um, moving forward, you could be working with Artemis or just know that she's around you. She's the Greek goddess of wild animals, the hunt. She rules vegetation and childbirth. Also, whenever you get kind of focused on something, whenever I think about a hunt, I think about laser focus. If you think about a bird seeing its prey, it swoops all the way down until it catches it. You know, it's like the hunt. So anytime you get into that energy, just know Artemis is backing you there. Also, I was hearing opposites are going to get married. So this could be opposite ethnicity, opposite skin tone, something like that. Just know um, in this case, opposites literally attract. I'm also hearing thunderhead for some of you. Um, you could be psychic yourself, obviously, as a Scorpio, but I'm seeing it more so as like a seizing, like you may have spells of just receiving lots of visions. It's reminding me of the Wednesday show, the way that she receives her vis visions, but I feel like for you guys, it may come in the form of a migraine. So if that happens, I will try to go to sleep and see what dreams you have during that time. Yeah. And if you do suffer from something like that, you may want to watch the Taurus reading. Um, it's called This Blessings Being Delivered to You by Hand. So I feel like anytime you get like a major blessing, you get a major migraine, like you get seized. Like it's like your guides are trying to prepare you, let you know it's almost too much. I'm hearing for your human body to handle and that's why you react that way. Yeah. Okay, moving forward. 
Some of you, you have a Capricorn or a Sagittarius uh, protecting you. This could be literally or this could be um, spiritually. This could be something that you're aware of or not. Like somebody always kind of has their eye on you, making sure you're, you're, I'm hearing your safety is first priority. I was hearing the name Patrick. I'm hearing Aquarius as well. Give me a second. I was also hearing whatever happens over the next couple of days, it's not by choice, your guides to control. I don't want to say it's by force either. It's just like you're not in control. So, ooh, my mother's calling me. I'm seeing that as like a guide. You know, she birthed me. <laughs> yeah, the Empress right there. Okay, cool. Um, sorry, mom. I'll call you in a sec. Moving forward, I was hearing Vietnam, Nevada. I was also hearing Swedish, or you could be a Swedish masseuse. Like they have those Swedish deep tissue massages. Something about Hawaii, which is interesting because we were getting that volcano energy earlier. I was also hearing Pennsylvania. You could be from or traveling any of these places. Something about Dallas, um, Buffalo, New York. You could be spending spring 2024, I was hearing in Great Britain, unbeknownst to you, but fast forward to uh, the springtime 2024, you'll probably be in that area. It's reminding me of the Aries reading. It's called Summer in London. So just take it how it resonates. Oh, something about the DC region. I was hearing a huge boom and it just glitched right when you said that. So um, DC, look out for some type of news or... I don't know, we'll see. But I was just hearing like a boom that echoes. Like I'm seeing a, like a, it's energy, you know, and there's like a really big hit and then you can like see the energy or when it's displayed in a movie or a cartoon, like you literally see it. That's what I'm seeing right now, okay? Something about Montego Bay, Jamaica on the 28th could be significant as well. I'm also hearing Oklahoma City. The messages are just all over the place today. It was a busy day. I'm just trying to see where to go next. Oh, you could be Dutch for some of you. I was also hearing San Diego. Okay, so moving forward, you may have to spend $720.52 on something, but I see you receiving $500, so it'll kind of be balanced out, or you won't be at so much of a dis you won't be at so much of a disadvantage with that. You also may meet someone with a mullet soon. In a reading the other day, we were talking about this versus that. It could have been Gemini, but one of the books that came out, it was like Polar Bear versus the Grizzly. And I was saying when it comes to selecting, that could be between, you know, a white person or a lighter person versus a darker person. And in this situation, I was hearing you're the Grizzly Bear. It, as a matter of fact, I was seeing like an actual physical brown bear. So you're taking on the energy of a Grizzly. Some of you, maybe you've been hibernating a lot or maybe you've just been um, to yourself, but I feel like that hibernation's coming to an end. I'm seeing two doves here. Uh, for some of you, if you have a family already, I feel like your daughter skateboards. I'm seeing the most dynamic family ever. I'm seeing a little daughter who skateboards and then I'm seeing a husband who either surfs or kayaks or fishes. You know, I feel like everybody in the family has their own hobby, you know? Like everyone is their own person. You guys maybe do stuff all together sometimes, but I'm seeing everybody is like, okay, like, I'm going to go off and do this. All right, I'm going to go off and do that. And they all have like really cool activities. So just take it how it resonates. And I like that because it's like no matter there's a family unit there and then there's availability for everybody to be separate as well, you know and explore their own personalities, their own interests, so nice. Um, for some of you, you could be trying to go on more hikes. You may have an Audi. Also, I was hearing something about UCLA on the 26th. Also, be careful if you work in sales. There could be some type of robbery, and if that does happen, do not do anything. Do not try to save whatever's in the store. That is not your store. You know, like if you work at Coach and someone tries to come rob Coach, don't risk your life trying to save bats for coach. You know that it won't affect you at all. It's not going to make you a better citizen, a better employee. It's going to put your life at risk because I'm not seeing it in well during these transits. So if you happen to work in anything like that and you see something, I usually say if you see something, say something. But in this case, like, 
just do what you need to do. Don't put yourself at risk. Don't try to be the hero. All right. Um, moving forward, if your birthday is on November 15th, I feel like you're extremely lucky. I'm also seeing the bumblebee spear. I feel like you guys are working very hard. You know, you could be working hard with many people for a, com a common goal, I'm hearing. For some of you, if you're a singer, I was hearing you astral travel when you sing. You could be a photographer. I was also seeing somebody that goes around to different restaurants and they like try the restaurants, they film it and they critique it. So you could be a photographer and a foodie, or maybe you could even be somebody that takes photos of food for different restaurants and things of that nature. So like a social media manager type of job. For some of you, I feel like you're foreign, like you were born elsewhere, you have a culture, but for whatever reason, you may feel like your parents Americanized your home too much. So you could be trying to get back into your culture. I'm also seeing a situation like the, um, I don't know if you guys have seen that movie, The Blind Side, like you could have been adopted, you could be from a completely different culture, you know, and maybe the people that you were adopted by are American, so naturally you learned American customs, but you could be trying to get back into your, um, I'm hearing your motherland, but like your home traditions, your home customs, even like attire, foods, trying to learn how to cook and things of that nature. Maybe even finding like a community of people, you know, like where you come from so you can learn from actual people who are from that place and feel more at home and more part of the community in that way. So if you are feeling that way, if that was your case, uh, that's a way to combat that. You could also be, I was hearing my sister's keeper, like maybe you and your siblings all could have been adopted or something like that. Also, this is a random message, but if you see a little girl on a train for like a long time, she was left there. If anybody, if anybody sees like a little girl on a train, I'm seeing a little girl sitting by herself, stop after stop after stop. Like people are looking at her, probably like, oh, she's fine, she's probably fine. But I feel like she was left there and she may not even be aware that she was left there, you know? So if you see a little girl by herself and I'm seeing a place like New York, like no place where a kid needs to be alone, I would try to step in if you feel comfortable enough to or try to get somebody else, yeah, to step in because that child is in danger. The hangman here and you could save a life i'm hearing that song yeah illusion in reverse it's like how to save a life where did i go wrong yeah so just know that mm -hmm. the community like needs to step in for that child it doesn't have to be a little girl that's just what i'm seeing like i'm seeing a little girl in a long coat with a bear and that doesn't fit the climate right now so Okay, moving forward. Something about San Francisco could be significant. Also moving back to that mystery person, I was hearing imprinting, like you may see someone and then it's just like automatic, like it's just sudden. I'm hearing that song, it's like, always on fire for you, like by the cannons, but I'm seeing Cupid's arrow as a cannon. It's just like phew, attraction, you know? So take it out, resonates. Um, also, I'm seeing a situation, maybe you saw someone before, but you know in movies how somebody will be standing on one side of the street, somebody else is on the other side of the street, and then the bus passes and then they just disappear. It's like you or the other person just like disappeared. Or it's like you see someone somewhere, you're like, ooh, let me go to the bathroom, check my lipstick. You go back out, they're gone. And it's like, you know, but whoever or whatever that situation is, I feel like you're going to come across that person again. But I'm seeing something eerie. Like, it's like one minute you're there, one minute you're not, you know. It's getting darker. The sun sets on this side of my house. So in the evening, that's when the sun comes through. Let me turn up the lighting now that it's setting. If my feet don't fail me. Okay, so moving forward, I'm seeing Thriller Michael Jackson. It's reminding me of the Libra reading, Will You Marry Me? Because I was wearing that Do You Want to Watch Scary Movies shirt with Scream on it. I'm also seeing like an Asian grunge model. This could be your aesthetic. Also, I'm seeing like a big pineapple, which symbolizes reconciliation in one of the decks that we're using. So reconciliation could be significant. I'm also seeing, oh, damn, I should have been more prepared. I'm so sorry. I usually am. There's one more deck I wanted to use. 
So I was seeing a very specific card. The nine of wands, yeah, judgment. I just want to see what that nine of wands energy is. So let's see. Shovel for Scorpio. This is coming from the outside. I'm hearing hello from the other side. I'm also hearing like how you gonna hate from outside the club. You can't even get in. But with the page of swords here, it's like say you get some type of promotion, you get some type of opportunity here, ace of pentacles and judgment. This was rightfully owed to you. It's a new beginning, the wheel of fortune here. But you have the Ten of Wands energy. For some of you, this is coming from an air sign here. It's like while people are congratulating you, celebrating you, you have like this one energy or it could be several energies, but it's all air, which makes sense with these messages down here. I have here... Um, for some of you, if you're dealing with an air sign, I literally saw weird energy from every single sign here. Also, I was hearing if you're dealing with an air sign, they could have lied to you. There's this book, it's called Sometimes I Lie, and the, the um, front of it, she's going down the rabbit hole. So we're going to use this Alice in Wonderland deck to see what that's about. But if you are dealing with an air sign and there is something weird going on, these are the readings for you. If it's a five, if it's a Libra, there's five energy over some type of election so literally what we we're just talking about if you guys are at work you work you both are qualified for some type of position you get it boom upset five of swords if you're dealing with a libra in that scenario if you're dealing with a gemini watch the most recent gemini readings because i was getting yeah a tsunami if you're dealing with an Aquarius, I was getting betrayal energy. So you want to watch the very last Aquarius reading, Friends Don't Lie, and the 639 Aquarius reading. After 639, everything changes. So, okay. Be aware of that. Also, yeah, what is that line energy about? Damn, 22 minutes in. Ooh, judgment and the three of pentacles. It's really about a third party situation with the knight of cups and the three of pentacles. But yeah, it just depends on who you are and what you're dealing with. All right, let me hurry up and move forward so we can actually get into the reading. Um, swear it got darker again. I need to turn up the brightness. So, okay, I was seeing a sketch energy since we're on the topic of this. Something about rumors, gossip. Somebody could have wrongfully been accused. I feel like this was you. But then there's like a blessing that came in. Someone literally got to experience your energy. Somebody actually got to speak with you. And it's like they realized, oh, no, there's no way that could have been Scorpio. Or, oh, no, that definitely had to be the, the wrong information. Like a small example of this. I don't eat any cheese ever. Never have. Never like the way it looked. I could. I just don't like it. You know? It's like if you knew me and you knew that and somebody came to you and was like, oh, yeah, Joy was in the back of that restaurant tearing down fettuccine like alfredo everything seven layers of cheese somebody that knows me would offer it be like no you're a liar where's joya because that's the biggest lie ever and now is she okay is she safe because why are you lying that hard she doesn't eat cheese you know so something like that it's like somebody's so sure that whatever they were told about you is false and that's just because of your energy like you don't need to explain you don't need to elaborate all you need to do is show up as yourself i'm hearing your energy speaks for itself also, I'm seeing a situation, I was hearing unnatural body movements. I was seeing somebody, it looked like their hands were behind their back and somebody else was like controlling them, you know? I'm also seeing like a body language class. It's like somebody's words versus their movements don't align. So it just looks crazy. Like literally like somebody else has their arms there and they're just like doing stuff for them. So um, that could be a clue how to know somebody's energies off or not you know there's non i'm hearing like all the forms of communication and one of the biggest forms is non-verbal also on that note that could be a situation where somebody's body language does not match what they're saying it's like 
oh, Scorpio, I'm so happy for you. You know, like, are you? Are you, are you sure? Are you okay? It's something like that. So you got to look at everything in conjunction, which I'm sure you already do. But God bless. Also, if you're dealing with a man here with a weird mom, I'm hearing the name Greg, Gregory, George, like anybody with a G, their mom does witchcraft. It doesn't have to be witchcraft. It could be any form of some type of spiritual manipulation. But yeah, I'm hearing literally like the son of a witch. So just know that. Um, also, if you feel like you have a really great relationship with somebody and they have like a weird dynamic with their mom, their mom has a weird thing with you. Yeah, they're into some weird energy work. I'm hearing devil C. I'm seeing the Bermuda Triangle, like near um, South Florida going towards the Bahamas, like that whole area. Somebody could be from an island, you know, just take it how it resonates. Also, I'm seeing men start a book club. And if you are, I'm so proud that you guys are doing that. Literally so attractive for you guys. Um, also, I feel like you guys are about to be experiencing lots of serenity, lots of magic. Also, I'm hearing there's something that you should have known, but you'll know what that is soon. I feel like that's in correlation with that mystery man, that mystery person, like whoever this this thing is like you shouldn't know and it'd be them or whatever. You could have an extremely diva dog for some of you. Also, your animal might deliver. Like you may not know your animal's pregnant and I see you coming home to kittens or puppies. I was hearing tonight and I had a dream like that when I took a nap the other day. It was like, it was weird. I was walking Yoshi in this neighborhood. You know how sometimes in front of houses, there's like bushes. Somebody had a whole line of puppies little small golden retriever puppies in a row on top of a bush. And I was like, oh my God, like all these little puppies sitting on top of this bush. Like, why would they put them out here? You know, but they look so cute. So I don't know, just know that. You, you may have a ferret that may deliver like little ferret, like, I don't know. Uh, there's a song by Lion Bay, it's called Rockets. I'll link it below, you may wanna listen to that. Also that little girl on the train, she could be wearing a yellow puffer jacket. I was seeing that as well. You may be traveling to Vegas soon. I was seeing the statue outside the Caesars Palace. I'm also seeing like, I'm hearing modern day Mary Magdalene looking at a statue of Mary Magdalene. Like, oh, that's so cool. Not realizing that <laughs> that was you, you know, seeing something like that. And that came out before as well. Um, I'm also seeing like a debate. This could be between you and your man or you and your wife. Should our kids have phones? What is your opinion? I think it's too soon. I don't think it's appropriate. You know, just take it how it resonates. You could have taken your kid's phone. They could be preparing for some type of test, preparing for college. I don't know. For some of you, you could be a world speaker or a musician. I was hearing what leaves your lips circulates the globe. It's so funny how once the sun went down, no more stuttering. I don't want to jinx myself, but it's like everything started being very co cohesive after the sun went down. Um, so yeah, there's something about nighttime that's significant for you. Dior, you could be buying something from there. I was hearing these names. This could be you, somebody you may meet, somebody that you were dealing with. I'm hearing Nate, Janine, Anthony, Karina, Amari, Jade, Andy, Jenny, Mark. I was hearing Rihanna. She could release something soon. The last name Reves, like R-E-E-V-E-S or Reeves. Julie, Leslie. I was hearing Aiko, so Janae Aiko. They're both Pisces, Rihanna and Janae. So you could be dealing with the Pisces, meeting the Pisces, that could be significant too. Or maybe she's releasing something, who knows, we'll see. Also the name William and Daniel as well. Also you guys may wanna watch the Scorpio reading, All Eyes on You, literally a private investigation. Some of you are dealing with the Sag. Also I feel like <coughs> arrows are pointing you in the right direction. I was hearing look up, like right now. <laughs> um, Oh, big warning. If you're dealing with somebody from Texas, I was hearing don't mess with that Texas woman. Don't mess with that Texas man. They're dangerous. You'll know if that's for you and you'll know what that means. Also, I'm hearing something about the blood moon. That could be the last one. That could be the next one. You may want to look it up and just see what that means for you. I'm also hearing that song, You Ain't Nothing But a Hound Dog by Elvis. And if that relates for you, you may want to watch the Sagittarius Forrest Gump reading. You could be dealing with, yeah, if you're dealing with the Sag. Also, something about Oh, I already said that. UCLA on the 26th, so that could be a really big message. Oh, you could have an earth sign around you. If they're acting weird, this person's either sexually frustrated or pregnant. You know, maybe they don't know yet, but it's either one or the other. 
Ooh, on the 24th, I was hearing something's X-rated. I don't know what that means, but just take it home over the names. Also, something about, I was seeing sign language, but I was hearing Shabbat. Like, you could be Jewish, or you could be learning Jewish sign language, or maybe you're teaching your kids. Also, something about a rhino. Just a few more messages. I was hearing you have little altars everywhere, which makes me think like little pockets of serenity, whether these are things that you found in sacred places or things for your guides or I'm hearing memorabilia from your ancestors, but I see it just kind of scattered around your house or little altars everywhere. I'm seeing like little marriage proposals, like just in people's minds, like, oh, like I marry Scorpio or oh, I marry Scorpio. Like it's not actual, it's like little, but I'm just seeing like a lot of that energy. Yeah. Um, ooh, you could do marathons where you guys like all ride bikes together. Also, I'm seeing a gnome. You may take someone's gnome and take it on a trip. I know people do that sometimes. Some of you could be bleaching something to get it more white. I'm hearing that song, White Tea by Summer Walker. You could have been raised. I'm hearing raise a little princess or raising a little princess, just take it how it resonates. For some of you, you could be a seamstress and it's like whatever you create, little parts of your life are with what you're creating like within the embroidery. So you may make quilts and like every part of the quilt is something that's significant to you. Just take it how it resonates. Also the cancer reading, it takes a village, could be significant during cancer season. Oh, one last message on this page. <laughs> if someone did something evil to you, that was divinely orchestrated that way. And I'm hearing you're a Jedi. Just take it how it resonates. Okay. There's not many messages at all here. Um Okay, so for some of you, be careful. You can't trust everyone's advice. I was hearing it just like that, like just how there are divinely orchestrated people who are meant to lead you in the right direction. There are people that are orchestrated to lead you in the wrong direction, lead you astray, lead you down the rabbit hole here. Look, five of wands right there in reverse. So you just need to make sure that whoever you're taking advice from you trust their advice, you trust those people. My rule of thumb, I don't take advice from anybody who I don't respect. I don't take advice from anyone who it's like, I don't want to live the way they live, right? So I'm very conscious in what I tune into. Um, I typically, if I'm on the internet, like on apps like YouTube, I'm watching TED Talks, listening to documentaries. I don't have TikTok at all. I don't have Facebook. Only social media is Instagram, you know what I mean? So just be very conscious of like, where you get your advice, you know, use your discretion. Also, you can use your pendulum, but not all advice is good advice. And you have to remember, like, people are only speaking from the lens that they have, the experiences that they have to share and to offer with you. So just make sure, like, people's experiences that you take advice from align with yours so you're not led in the wrong direction, you know? I feel like I'm talking to, like, younger Scorpios right now because I feel like we don't need to be talking about that, you know, obviously. But why I brought that up is because as I was on my way to meet my friend earlier, I'm already hella late and then my GPS is taking me in all these different directions. Like it told me the route and I'm like, okay, I kind of know that route. But as I'm going there, it's like, no, turn right, turn left. Like it's just doing all this shit. I know I need to update my phone and that's probably why, but I'm like, yo, Siri, I cannot trust you right now. <laughs> also on that note, I was hearing you have, there's like parasite energies around you. I'm hearing clockwork, clockwork. Like just like you have angels that are working clockwork for your blessings, you have parasites that are working clockwork for, you know, so it's all about what you give your attention to, what you give your energy to. And the best part about it is you have complete control over that. You decide that. So just make sure you choose well. Um, you could be an MC. Also think back what happened January 2nd through January 5th of this year. That could be coming full circle. I'm hearing Pi, Beta, Phi. Don't know what that means. Well, I know it's like a Greek thing, but I don't know which one or where. <laughs> um, moving forward, yeah, I'm seeing an Atlas. I'll grab the map deck and pull from there. Also, I was hearing the Simpsons might be ending, you know? Oh, that's just... My intuition, I, I'm not claiming that, but that could be coming to an end soon. I'm also seeing a praying mantis. I'm hearing, tell me when to go, because you know how they move like that. 
So it's like, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. But I see you very much like in your ready energy, like a bull that's like ready to come out of the cage, you know? So yeah, someone may drive a hearse for some of you. Also, I was seeing someone have to get their garage door repaired. Someone may run into it. I was seeing somebody on drugs run straight into somebody's door. Also, I was hearing Seneca, which is a member of um, pretty much like the Iroquois. They were found in New York, where that's like where they are originally from. That's where they inhabited. Um, I was also hearing Sota, which is it's S-O-T-A, and that's Japanese for smooth Thick and big, so I don't know, just take it how it resonates. We could be channeling your counterpart. Um, but yeah, I'm seeing you run into somebody. Like if there's a building, you're on this side, they're on this side, and I see you like meeting at an intersection. I'm hearing sister sisters, but I'm seeing <laughs> I'm seeing like a couple, but I'm seeing like how sister sister like met in that store. Um for some of you, I was hearing, should I delete YouTube? And I feel like they were just trying to give me the message. So that day when I did that Pisces Exodus reading, when I changed the name of my YouTube channel, and remember I was going through like, am I supposed to delete my YouTube? Like what's going on? If there's something that you have that you're questioning like, oh, do I need to stop this? Or do I need to get rid of this? No, I feel like there's something so, so, so minuscule and small that you need to tweak and that's gonna make everything better. So just kind of uh, ponder on that. Also, I'm hearing something about your right foot. I'm hearing Aladdin with no A and something about the designer Stussy could be significant. Give me one second. Let me turn up the brightness just a little bit more and then we'll jump into the reading. And let me turn on the comments while I'm up. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot, you guys. We're 40 minutes in. <laughs> All right. Chat is up. Ooh, I just heard a honk outside. So yeah, divine timing. Oh, Scorpio, what's going on? Okay, we're gonna start here. We have a lot of animals coming out. Shuffle for Scorpio. Ooh. Yeah, okay. And then let's get it the other side. I keep hearing hello from the other side. A lot of downloads coming to you guys from the divine, pass on ancestors, pass on loved ones. I'm hearing brother, brother. I'm hearing brother from another mother. I'm hearing Eric, Andy. Okay. Wait, 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 one more. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So Scorpio, let's see what's going on. Yeah, we're going to be in here for a while, so get comfortable. So like I said earlier, you have dark woman and dark man. So when it comes to that polar bear versus grizzly bear, I feel like you're definitely on, here on the darker side of the spectrum, which is a beautiful thing to be, you know. Um, you have lightning here, which confirms that lightning head energy that we were seeing. So something about downloads, lots and lots of downloads. You have April, May be dealing with an Aries, Taurus, I see November, some of you are dealing with a Scorpio here. Um, some of you, yeah, I'm seeing a woman broken wishbone. So for some of you, I feel like there was a dynamic here that could have fallen apart with you and a friend, 
you and a woman, maybe a fire sign here as well. I feel like you gain the highest perspective on something and you fix the problem. So now, yeah, star card, you feel the situation. If not a woman, it could have been a younger man as well, or just a man in general. It could be anybody, people, God bless. Um, also, I feel like around somebody, you had to pay attention to your finances. Maybe you didn't trust someone's energy, or maybe you realized like, oh, every time I'm with you, I'm spending literally everything, you know? So it's like you had to put up boundaries yeah chain of events that will affect your life you have here that's reminding me of the gemini reading a chain a series of unfortunate events so you could have been dealing with the gemini with that march pisces energy right there with the goldfish double pisces energy protection from a powerful friend we did have pisces come up twice some of you had a pisces and then yeah interesting because we said sisters right and I, I emphasize the fact that you could be an only child. You know, not everybody has siblings. So that could be sisters as far as like your element, like your water sign, sister, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you, yeah, protection from a powerful friend there, fair woman. So it's interesting how it's like you're coming out as dark man, dark woman. This is coming out as a fair woman. So this could definitely be a race thing, but it's being cleaned out with the broom and you have success here no matter what. Wait, what are you guys saying? Hi, everybody. Hi, hi. I'm not ignoring any of you. I just want to make sure you get your messages because we've been here for a minute already. <laughs> uh, you have December here, Sagittarius energy. Ooh, an emotionally secure and loving family is important to you. I also see the butterfly. So yeah, we said this is your prelude Lord of the Rings. So this is like before marriage. So I feel like what you don't know, look at these unhatched eggs. These are like your future kids, right? So they're not hatched yet for some of you, right? We're talking about the future, but just know what's going to develop out of this nest is a very, very, I'm hearing dynamic. I keep hearing dynamic family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. And then you have ladder climbing upwards. For some of you, be careful if you go out. I see the club and temptation will test you. So be careful if you're in a relationship. Temptation might test you. Um, and then you have two cards over here. Nice. You have the gong, an exciting event, and candle. You will be shown the way. That's reminding me of the hermit. So it's giving me the energy like spirits giving you as much information as you need, right? They're showing you where your feet are going, but no further than not. And that's all you need at this time. So let's get into your reading. We're going to start off with the Tazama deck. And as always, I have to shout them out for sending me this deck. Beautiful deck. It has gold on the sides here. And um, I'll put the link for you guys to get it with a discount code. All right. So you have a moon in reverse and you have death upright. It's so exciting. I don't know if it's just me, but I've been so, so excited this entire week. Like we have been preaching about July 18th for an entire year. And we're literally about it's 740, it's 747 on the time. That reminds me of a Boeing jet, like a big plane, 747, like we're about to take off. We're less than 40 hours away from this transit. Like everybody's about to go through the most significant change, I feel like, in this lifetime, like at least one of them for sure, you know? And this is something that's going to be felt worldwide. Like this isn't just, oh, if you have this, aspecting that, transiting that in conjunction. No, this is something that's going to affect everybody. And I feel like that's why I'm so excited because what affects the collective affects us all. And if everybody's feeling like they're in alignment with their destiny, then we're going to be birthing a so much better world, like a happier world, a more passionate world, you know, all these great things. So I'm just so, 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 so excited for all of us. I just have to say my piece about that. But anyway, shuffle for Scorpio. Yeah. It's judgment time. For some of you, yeah, it's like you've been, <laughs> this seven of pentacles energy for a lot of you, I feel like this is the entire year. Like the first seven months has been all about this reassessment. And it's like, finally, finally, you're given the green light to actually invest in what's emotionally fulfilling you and simultaneously releasing these burdens here. Like this is collectively, not just Scorpio, but collectively here. 
you know? So a lot of people are finally, for the first time, going to be able to invest in their true passions, like what's truly fulfilling emotionally to you, right? So 20 matching 20, judgment. Some of you had to drop like a certain community, a certain group of people in order to experience this here. With the Three of Cups, it's like you had to sacrifice certain things in order to, you know, move forward in this way. I'm seeing Jacob's Ladder. But it's like you had to spend the whole year kind of weighing things out with the Seven of Pentacles, Two, and, two of Pentacles. Is this come with me? Is this a part of who I'm becoming? Is this a part of who I am? You know what I mean? If not, okay. I'm seeing Shrek when he's in the middle of that ring and he's like, do you want a pint? No. And then he's like, all right, cool. And then he just puts a hole in the beer and everybody gets knocked over. So yeah, this is the part where you finally get to move forward, you know? And I'm seeing that tide again. I'm hearing the tide is high, but I'm holding on. Shuffle for Scorpio. Yeah, completion. Beautiful. And I'm just hearing over and over, like, are you sure? Are you sure? Like, there's so much free will within this process as well as, like, there is, but there isn't, right? It's, like, spirit showing you things over and over for the first seven months of the year and then, like, re reconfirming that with you. Like, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Because it's, like, once you punch in that code of what you're signing up for, that's what you're subscribing to, you know? So all this time that's felt stagnant for some, maybe not all, but a lot of people here have known, like, okay, usually things move a little bit further than this, a little bit farther than this and faster than this. Like, clearly there's something going on, right? So at least you know you've had all that time to decide Yes, I'm sure, you know, and you've had that time to tell spirit and retell spirit once again. Yes, I'm sure. So it's only up from here. I'm hearing Matador. Yeah, self-destruction in reverse, change perception, you know, and then look at her. These are all those things you were presented with, you know. Hey, Scorpio, this is kind of double energy. Like, are you sure? Okay, yeah, cool. Let's eradicate that completion. Like, you've done it all. So now get ready for this revolution. And you have denial in reverse. This is beautiful. Fear in reverse. Death and transformation upright. Yeah, you have complete, complete clarity. And I'm also seeing a situation where it's like, I'm hearing, wow, six, seven, wait, 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 six, seven, eight, nine. Death and transformation. And it's interesting. And then you have 10 here as well. Self-destruction in reverse. But I'm seeing 9 o'clock as 9 p.m. for me is 12 a.m. for a lot of you. So I'm hearing like, yeah, 9 begins the this cycle. And that's about what? An hour and eight minutes from now, 18, the moon. All right. I'll subscribe to that. <laughs> I'm all down for that. I'm also hearing, yeah, somebody asks you, like, hey, Scorpio, are you down for this? And you're like, yeah, that's definitely something I can get into. Absolutely. Gladly. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Oh, I really appreciate you guys. And thank you for being a member. You got me going through all of this. I trust you. The Scorpio and the Disappear. Adopted blindside kid. Oh. And I just got a new position recently where I can be financially independent and I dropped a liar. Oh, well, congratulations to you. Hella hugs sent your way. Um, yeah. And the thing about the blind side there, actually email me because that's not something I really want to like elaborate in globally, you know, but if you feel comfortable, just email me and we'll discuss there. Okay, so let's move forward. You've mastered something here. You see the praying mantis on his finger right there? But I feel like this is mastery not through action, but through patience, mastery through observation, mastery through learning from others' mistakes. You know, that praying mantis energy is like that side to side energy, but I see that as observation, you know, not going yet. Like, I got to see first. And this reminds me of, like, when somebody's standing in front of you and you can't really see what's on the stage. It's, like, making sure you have, like, every like every view of what's going on before moving forward or before, you know, I'm hearing prancing. 
shuffle for um yeah you remember that virgo reading about the praying mantis that's when i was still in atlanta shuffle for scorpio wow look at this couple oh my god i'm seeing something so cute it's like a nurse and a surgeon they're in a relationship you have the earth mother and the medicine guardian i'm hearing i'll plant whatever you need oh my goodness i'm also seeing for some of you if you're coming together in these dynamics which a lot of you are it's not going to be long before a baby comes with that yeah fire guardian here like there's passion there's a lot of passion here once again, I'm hearing all my life, like it's a whole lifetime of passion that I feel like is about to just like, I just keep seeing it like that. It's just gonna come out. <laughs> yeah, look, look at her eyes. And that's that's that energy that I was seeing um, from the channel messages. I forgot what I said. Oh, imprinting, like you see somebody and it's just, it's instant. Yeah, the world here. So you have two confirmations of motherhood there. Shuffle for Scorpio. I know I'm about to have another baby. Congratulations to you. Wait. Surgeon International Broadcasting. Isn't imprinting? Yeah, imprinting is pretty much what animals do. Wolves do. Swans, you know, the animals, mammals, whatever, that just kind of stay with the same person for life. Same energy for life. It's that. It's like you can't help it. It's something that's engraved in the DNA. It's like I'm seeing the, the DNA um, spirals, and it's like you're one, they're the other. Like you can't have the DN without the A, and you're the A or the DN to see how it resonates. But moving forward, I see 10 of wands fell out before um, when I was pulling out this deck. So let's see what this 10 of wands energy is. For some of you, like I said, if you're already dealing with um, an air not an air sign, an earth sign, could be an air sign. I don't feel like whoever this is, is your person. I feel like this person's bringing you burdens. They're not your person, they're burdened, okay? And you have the king of pentacles on top with the higher font, so it definitely could be a Taurus. But like I said, I feel like this person could be sexually frustrated. If you're currently in a dynamic, maybe like passion has died, I'm seeing. It's like, all this passion and nowhere to put it. This looks like it should be a tornado, but it's kind of like, it's not really formed. You know what I mean? So they could be taking that out on you with the four of pentacles here. I see like restriction, but moving forward, I see you meeting this king of cups here. Somebody not restrictive with their energy, very open with their emotions here. Thank you, Claudia. You're so sweet for that super chat. I really appreciate you. But it's a whole different dynamic, a whole different energy, you know? Clarify for Scorpio. For some of you, if you're masculine energy, this could have been a queen of wands that was bringing you this burden, this weight, this energy. It could have been a Leo, Sag, Aries, Feminine. Ooh, hell no. Yeah, something came out here. You have the five of swords with the seven of swords on top of that here. And the sun with the queen of swords underneath that. Yeah, for a lot of you, you could be dealing with an air sign. If it hasn't already, I feel like by the 19th, like you said in the channel messages, something will be revealed to you. You could have been blinded by something for some of you, or this could have been somebody else. This could be that air sign. Maybe they were blinded to the fact that, you know, once things are revealed, you really take proper action like shit can change in a heartbeat you know i'm hearing it was all good just a week ago but with the wheel of fortune it's like expect the unexpected but i feel like you could have been put in a situation where somebody like tried that like hmm like let me see if scorpio is really gonna you know change things around so look with the blindfold here i feel like that was their obliviousness and with the seven of swords energy this harp it's like oh i can just continue to serenade and this and that and blah 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 whatever but the sun came out. 
And as soon as the sun came out, Wheel of Fortune, you changed shit around here. And the Six of Pentacles, now I feel like your blessings are restored. Because look, you started with the five and the seven, you were missing the six, right? After realizing this and you made a change, now you get the six. Now, so this person was blocking your blessings for a lot of you here. But I feel like it's only because you are oblivious to the true nature, you know? If you're giving to something that's blocking your blessing, obviously you're unaware that that thing's a block. Until you're aware, then you can make different decisions, you know? So it's either of those things. You either got like a man with a stick up his hat, like up his ass. I'm hearing it just like that with the Ten of Wands, several at that. Or you just have a very conniving person. I'm getting like a siren energy. Let me pull with one more deck on that. <clears throat> Let me see what you guys are saying too. I'm taking off on my flight as soon as you said it. Oh, safe travels. Looks like Cleopatra shirt, so hype. You already know what it is. Let's see, let's see. Let's pull one more time. <laughs> this deck is so funny to me because they really, they really mess with these people's faces on these cartoons. But yeah, so your game changer here is to not be so fucking nice. It literally says that on her shirt with the middle finger. So I feel like this is why you were put in that five of swords, seven of swords. For some of you, that could have been you. And you could have been, you know, um, manipulated in some way. And it's like God allowed you to wear that blindfold for only so long, right? And it's like the game changer for your entire life is this situation. So now moving forward, you learn not to let people take advantage of you however way they do, whether it's monetarily, emotionally, you know, with, with just your time and your energy your resources, your life force, all of that matters, right? Time's the only thing we can't get back. So every second of it, it's fucking valuable to me, you know, as it should be to you too. Yeah, you have focus here. You have grow. You have the empress. You have Express. Oh my God, it's reminding me of that song, um, Starlight by Dave. He says, my empress still got an empress. So it's like, I'm also getting a situation where it's like, I'm seeing a nun. Like there could be expectations like, oh, you're this. So you have to act like that. Oh, you're that. So you have to act like that. But it's like, you can be that, but you can be whatever you want in conjunction with that. Like two things can exist simultaneously. You know, so I feel like you're also realizing that. Yeah, with Tigress in reverse, maybe you've been in situations where that energy has been suppressed by the opinions of others, you know, but I feel like you're learning that you can literally, you can be so many things at the same time, you know, with, in conjunction with another. I'm seeing that brand talent list. You could have been listening to people that only know how to do one thing. They only have like one thing and they only focus on one thing and maybe you focus on like nine things so it's like your energy is new to them you know just started watching the show dave at your recommendation i love it isn't that the best show ever <laughs> dave is iconic but i'm gonna be honest with you still love dave but because i just started watching insecure literally like seven days ago that's where they got the vibe of Dave from. Because I've been like, it's so genius to create a show around your actual life with your actual friends, with actual situations and like make it funny, right? But now that I'm watching Insecure, I'm like, okay, I see where you guys got the skeleton from. Still good, still good. Like you still have your individuality, but now I see the blueprint, you know? But anyways, the chariot. Moving forward. And you have the queen of cups. Yeah, you guys. There's that 777 energy from the beginning. This is a warning. Something's about to take off for you. I'm hearing um, Gabriella. I'm hearing the initials GB. You could be from Ethiopia for some of you, Somalia. Ooh, yeah. 
Um, so for some of you, I'm seeing the King of Wands come out, but I'm seeing this is you, to be um, completely honest. It says the leader, the creative here. Um, and I'm seeing this in regards to your business here. I'm not seeing this as like a person outside yourself. So for some of you, I see in this time period, you're going to be having, let me give you the specific day. Hold on. I think on the 19th as well, either on the 19th, you're going to get a really good idea. I'm hearing how you can scale up. Whatever idea that you get on the 19th, take action on it immediately. For some of you, this could be about a place. Like you may get a download of a very specific place. You need to plan a trip there as soon as you're financially able to. But there's something, there's, I'm hearing a key component that's coming in on the 19th. And it all has to do with your resources, you know. But this comes to you intuitively, right? So if this is a thing about travel, like all of a sudden I'm thinking of Sierra Leone. I'm going to plan a trip there. But it's because when I get there, there's something there for me so just pay attention to what happens um because you're gonna get a clue on what you need to take action on on that day yeah page of coins i'm hearing yeah starting from the beginning i'm hearing scaling yeah scaling maybe even building something off of something that already exists but whatever it is take action okay i'm seeing the firefly like little bursts of ingenious ideas take initiative on them Last spread, last spread. I'm hearing last call for alcohol. That's a cancer reading. It's cancer season. It's like last call for alcohol for the karmic bullshit everybody's been enduring. Like, let these notes shift. I'm hearing let them shift. Like, let it let it happen already, you know? Seven of cups. <laughs> Joya, do you do hair tutorials? No, but... I can start. I'm not an internet person, guys. It takes a lot to get me on the internet. Like, a lot. So this is already kind of a lot for me. But, you know, we'll see what happens. I don't want to give away too much. But I have some ideas brewing. And now that I'm where I want to be geographically, like, it's definitely in alignment. So we'll see. The magician. <laughs> so let's see, shuffle for um, Scorpio. I'm hearing the 17th, something about tomorrow. Yeah. And as of midnight, it'll be officially the 17th. You're coming out as the Queen of Wands. Yeah, they keep reiterating the same energy over and over again. So there is a very significant um, fire sign female here. Like I said, it could be air sign. That's the opposite of fire. And I feel like you, I'm seeing um, something wrapped up in a spider web, like a little cocoon. But you putting somebody in that position when it comes to your life, meaning either blocking somebody off completely restricting access you know your energy no longer combines with this person's energy that within itself is creating a moon so i feel like a big part of the discovery for you was to realize like what i'm hearing learn what bridges to cross and what bridges to burn and this was a major bridge that needed to be burned the fuck down i'm hearing major key you know so as soon as you did that as soon as you call i'm hearing call the bluff god bless as soon as you call that out here you have the six of wands everything that was on hold seven of pentacles revamps back up again and i'm seeing the aries reading your road down the yellow brick road or here's your journey down the yellow brick road you have the lovers and you have the king of cups so it's like as soon as you created boundaries as soon as you learn to stop being so fucking nice then you can have the world right then it's like, okay, Scorpio, what do you want? What do you want today? We'll give it to you because now you know how to handle it. Now we know that you're not going to go and give it to people that don't deserve it. Now we know that we can trust you with these blessings and you know you can discern who to share them with. It's as simple as that. But it takes really difficult and fucked up situations, people, times, things to connect those dots. So that's what these seven months have been about. And now that we've all learned, let us all say amen together because now i'm hearing that song Ooh, here it is the fool now we leap now we leap but it's interesting that this one card didn't come out of here now that i think about it so let me just put this deck together and pull one more time before we get out of here oh the whole church said amen god bless i love you guys so much okay 
So you have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom, Ace of Pentacles on top. Can we just pull one last spread for Scorpio before we get on our Destiny roller coaster? Ah, so exciting. Nothing fell on the floor. Beautiful. If nothing fell on the floor, I feel like that means that you have eradicated everything that needs to be eradicated. So beautiful there. You do have the chariot in reverse, which tells me this is a glimpse at what's coming in. With the page of swords, the chariot in reverse, this is the warning about what it is that you're moving towards, right? It's in reverse because it hasn't started yet. But what you have here, you have death and transformation when it comes to four of cups energy. To me, the Four of Cups can be, you know, not really seeing all your opportunities, but to me, it's being oblivious. And this is like oblivious to energies that need to be cut off. You see, he's holding this big ass axe. I feel like Scorpio gets in a very, Scorpio doesn't get enough credit for wanting to nurture the people they actually care about. It's like, when we care, we're going to bury you with us in our little Scorpio dungeons and make sure you're protected too and make sure nothing harms you too. And Scorpios can get lost in that, like very, very lost. Because that coming with us underground, we can get dug very far under there, you know, very, very comfortable. So sometimes it takes having to go into that place in your heart to understand, okay, I bring a lot to this table, you know? So if it's not, if it's not reciprocative, if it's not being matched in any way, does this person deserve to be, you know, in my little cool ass dungeon with me? No. You know, make more room for you or people that do deserve to be down there. I don't know why I'm literally saying a scorpion bear, because you know how they like bury themselves underneath the ground, but I'm seeing that. Oh, before we get out of here, oh my goodness. I almost forgot to give a huge thank you. Oh, one second. I want to give a huge thank you here um, to Anna at Rose Forever for reaching out to send me this beautiful box of roses. They literally last for a whole year. And the roses that, that they create, they were made in Ecuador. They don't use any chemicals to preserve them. It's all natural preservatives. So if you guys have a girlfriend, a mother, you know, these future spouses that are coming into your life, this will be a great gift <laughs> for them. And you can use my discount code JOYA20 to receive $20 off. And they ship worldwide. So even if you're in a different country, you know, this has been such like a beautiful, and I mean, I would never accept a collaboration if I didn't genuinely like vibe with it, but this has brought so much color to my house. Like I already have so many plants over here, but just the red, it just gives, every time I walk in, it just makes me feel so romantic. So I feel like it'll brighten any woman's day. And I also just wanted to say they have square, they have circle, they have heart shaped. And they also have this really cool crystal box that comes with like a, um, a jewelry drawer too. So you can have your roses with your jewelry all together, just feeling all the vibes. So thank you, Rose Forever, um, New York. And like I said, that discount code is Joya20. So beautiful, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate all of you for being here. Um, so excited to get into these readings after the transit. Like we have so much to look forward to. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. So God bless. <laughs>